Hello student, today we are going to learn on pattern allowances. What are the different types of allowance given in a pattern? We know pattern is the two replica or actual model of the job or workpiece. It is used for making impression on sand. This impression or cavity is called mold. Molten metal pour or fill into the mold. Mold mean cavity and allow to solidify. Up after solidification, this is called casting. A pattern is always made larger than the required size of casting in order to allow for various factors such as sinkage, machining, distortion and wrapping etc. Now following allowances are usually provided in a pattern. Number one, contraction allowance or it is called sinkage allowance. Number two, machining allowance or it is also called finish allowance. Number three, distortion allowance or it is also called camber allowance. Number four, duct allowance. Number five, wrapping allowance or sick allowance. Okay, mainly these five types of allowance are used in pattern. Okay, now what is contraction allowance or sinkage allowance? It is the amount by which the dimension of a pattern is made getter to compensate for the contraction or sinkage of, of the molten metal during solidification. Okay. All metals sink more or less 
in changing from a liquid to a solid state okay so if we do not keep sinkage allowance on the pattern the product made by casting will be under size okay now what is machining allowance or finish allowance what is machining allowance or finish allowance the amount by which any dimension of the pattern is made over size in order to allow machining is called machining allowance or finish allowance extra amount extra amount of metal is to be added to certain parts of cast product so that those part may be finish or machines to the proper size after casting okay for this it is necessary that corresponding parts in the pattern should be made a bit over size a slight over size okay if machining allowance is not kept on a product it will be under size after machining okay machining allowance for different material cast iron machining allowance given 2 to 10 mm for steel machining allowance given 3 to 12 mm for aluminum machining allowance given approximate 3 mm for brass and bronze for brass and bronze machining allowance given approximately 1 mm okay now what is distortion allowance or camber allowance what is distortion allowance or camber allowance some casting tends to bend or distorted during cooling in the mold cavity okay this is due to uneven metal thickness or due to one surface cooling more rapidly than others okay to overcome this distortion 
an opposite bend is provided on the pattern and the amount by which the pattern is given bending in the opposite direction is called distortion allowance or camber allowance camber means camber means convex bend this is the front view of a cast product this is the end view means side view during solidification this will bend in this direction in pattern we give a distortion or bend in opposite direction in pattern we give a bend in opposite direction so during solidification of the casting of the molten metal the cast product will be straight tendency of casting bend in this direction we give distortion or bend in pattern in opposite direction okay now what is duct allowance duct is the term applied to the taper on all vertical surface of a pattern so that the pattern can be drawn from the sand without any injury to the mold faces this is a pattern this surface this surface all four vertical surface are given taper or duct allowance so that during withdraw from the sand in opposite direction there are there are sand there are sand when we withdraw from sand in opposite direction then vertical surface are injure to overcome this injury we give duct allowance in opposite direction okay taper is provided to a pattern in the direction opposite to that in this it is drawn from the sand the pattern is drawing from the sand in this direction and we give the taper in opposite direction in opposite direction we give the taper taper allowance we give in opposite direction 
ओके नाउ द अमाउंट ऑफ डाफ्ट इजुअली अलाउड डिपेंड ऑन द साइज एंड शेप ऑफ द कास्टिंग एंड मोल्डिंग मेथड एंड टाइप ऑफ सैंड यूज इट रेंजेस वन टू थ्री डिग्री फॉर वुडन पैटर्न ओके नाउ व्हाट इज रैपिंग अलाउंस व्हाट इज रैपिंग अलाउंस और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड सेक अलाउंस ओके द मोल्ड कैविटी इज इंक्रीज इन साइज वेन ए पैटर्न इज रैप वेन ए पैटर्न इज रैप मोल्ड कैविटी इज इंक्रीज इन साइज व्हाट इज रैप दैट इज पेस्ट downward and sideward in the in the mold to facilitate its lifting when pattern is withdrawn from the molding cavity it is pace downward and sideward okay this is the pattern this is the mold cavity when we lift the pattern from mold cavity wrapping downward and sideward next we we do the pattern from the mold cavity this increase in size is little and can be overlooked in ordinary casting but in large casting or castings which must fit in other parts allowance must be kept on pattern the pattern should be made here under size pattern should be made under size in order to compensate for the increase of mold cavity okay this allowance is called wrapping allowance or seeking allowance okay it is clear my student thank you